Hey guys, Michael from Concord Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about all things phase diagrams. We'll be talking about what phase diagrams are used for, what all the different points are, and how to read a phase diagram. A phase diagram is just to show what phase will be will exist at a particular pressure and temperature. So on the y-axis, you have pressure, and that typically is in ATMs. And on the x-axis, axis you'll have temperature and that's usually in degrees celsius or it could be in degrees kelvin and then typically you'll see three lines like this and it separates into the three phases now if you have an empty phase diagram an easy way to know which what to label as what phase is to go from left to right and it'll always be solid liquid and gas from left to right and then once you have the the phases labeled you can use that to determine what phase the compound or substance will be at a particular temperature and pressure. So for example, if you're asked about what's the phase at this particular pressure and this particular temperature, you just trace it and you get a dot and that dot is in the solid region. So that's how you know this is gonna be a solid. Or if you were asked about what phase exists at this particular pressure in this particular temperature, then you'll be at this point, and that's in the gas region. So that means that that compound will be a gas at that pressure and that temperature. Some other points that you, you need to know, we have the triple point right here, which is the intersection of the three lines. And the triple point, that's, that's the point in which all three phases exist at equilibrium. That means that at this particular pressure, and that particular temperature, all, sol all three phases, solid, liquid, and gas, will exist. Another point that's useful to know is this point right here. And that blue point, this is called the critical point. And the critical point can be broken down into the critical, if you trace it down here, this would be cr the critical temperature. And if you trace it over here, that would be the critical pressure. And then if you bring the points up and then bring the line over, then you get this region right here. So what's so special about the critical point is that just in this region above the critical point, you no longer can differentiate. So you, you no longer can differentiate between the liquid phase and the gas phase. And instead, they sort of combine to, to become a, super, a new phase called the supercritical fluid. So that's another point that's important to know. And then lastly, you need to know all the phase changes that, that can occur. If you're going from a solid to a, a liquid, that's just called melting. And then if you're going from the liquid to the solid, that is called freezing. If you're going from the liquid phase to the gas phase, that's called boiling or also called vaporization. And then if you're going from the gas phase to the liquid phase, that is called condensation. And then if you're going from a solid to a gas, that is called sublimation. And lastly, if you're going from a gas to a solid, that is called deposition. Now let's take a look at some practice problems to apply what we've learned. Here we have a phase diagram with A, B, and C. The states aren't labeled, so let's first label states. We know that to label states, we go from left to right, and that'll be solid, liquid, and gas. So C is a solid, B is a liquid, and then A is a gas. So the first question it asks, at 30 ATM, the boiling point of the substance is, so we're at 30 ATM and boiling occurs when a, a liquid becomes a gas. So we just trace that over and then and then trace that down. So that'll be 50 degrees Celsius. And that'll be the boiling point at 30 degrees Cel ATM. The second question asks, if the temperature of the substance is held constant negative 15 degrees Celsius, the phase change that would occur when the pressure goes from one ATM to 30 ATM is. So we're given a temperature at negative 15 degrees Celsius and it asks, what's the phase change that will occur when it goes from one ATM to dirty ATM? So we're starting at one ATM, we're going to dirty ATM, so you're going upwards, and you can see that's going from the liquid, A is a liquid, 
and then C is a gas, so it's go going from, sorry, it's going from a gas to a solid. A is a gas and C is a solid. So a gas is solid, that would be deposition. Then the next question asks, what is the temperature and pressure of the triple point? So we know that the triple point is the point where all three lines intersect, and that's going to be this point. And so then the pressure will be 6 atm, and then the, temp the temperature will be negative 15 degrees Celsius. So 6 to atm and negative 15 degrees Celsius. Next question, a phase, a phase change that occurs from B to A is known as, so now we're going from B to A. B to A is just a liquid going to a gas, so that's just known as boiling, or we can say vaporization. And then lastly, at STP, the substance can exist as, so STP is 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. So let's trace that. 1 atm, 0 degrees Celsius, that's at this point, and that's A, and A is a gas. And that's how you read a phase diagram and uh, what essentially phase diagrams are used to help you determine what phase a, a substance will be at a particular temperature co and pressure combination. The other points that you need to know are the triple point and the critical point, and then you also need to know all the phase changes that can occur. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.